Hey, cuties! Ready for another hot spring themed event? They've been served a skill Eva glow up of the returning transient summon alongside a brand new AR equipment summon. Can you withstand the heat, or should you lose yourself to these delights? Salute to Nico! Uh, that's not good. Poor guy. After making the smallest of splashes on release, Saro Tahiko attempts another dive but slips instead. This bathhouse server was the first to introduce a buff, conferring debuff purging over time. And while he still stands as one of the more accessible sources of it, his competitors offer other forms of value while Saru Tahiko falls behind. He does offer a decent damage amp, but this suffers from being movement dependent, restricted to a limited range, and not fully natively activatable. His heal is situational because the defense is unreliable, and his charge fill is unambitious. Unlike the deluxe bathhouse package you are barely concealing, your kit's neither a shower nor a grower. Drunk? This plushy sized red panda has refined his assassination skills after killing thousands of people with his cuteness alone. With the ability to refresh all debuffs while depleting a frightening chunk of health, linearly scaling with the amount of debuffs. Jurong semi reliably chews through enemy defenses while sapping the enemy of their health and charge meter. Denying the enemy their charge while mitigating damage and quickly building his own, this terrifyingly cute all in one package can keep the enemy permanently disabled through a board wide charge loop while tanking through any remaining counter attacks. Having the exclusive privilege to refresh all debuffs on the board while being able to deal over 10,000 flat damage natively. Jurong is one of the most precious companions who can join you in this game. I'll protect you forever and ever, baby boy! Lightning round? We got some new Jurong yours! Go, oh, and some other equipment too, I guess. Let's go check him out! Three, two, one, start! This is why no one likes you. Every villain is lemons. Wow! You like what you see, boy? Pokemon Summer! Clear! Those definitely were the ARs of all time. Now let's resume a review of the variants from the Transient Summon. Mineaki. First Terra Mighty, then Azazos, and now you, Miyaki? Your latest medical innovations have dramatically magnified your strength as a low-range, extreme utility unit that transcends game balance when paired with Oz. Your icy gaze brings groups of enemies to their knees, now unable to move or build recharge while suffering heightened extreme damage vulnerability and skill denial. You're an agent of fear, and near equal measure as you are a benevolent caretaker of your students. Providing a premium medical aid focused on positive health outcomes such as healing, defense amp, a damage amp, and charge fill, all the while personally surviving any sudden calamities. With the right odds setup, you have the potential to neutralize all threats with massive debilitation and damage. Try as they might, but no one can escape your watchful eye. Daikoku. Three years after being cast into the underworld, Daikoku returns with a new scheme to enact his revenge against his usurpers. Still remaining as the strongest four-star magic damage dealer in the game, Daikoku enfeebles the opponent he has yet to challenge, and brands any survivors of his wrath. As ruler of the dead, he can also trade death for life among his peons, and as a former ruler of the world above from ages past, he slightly retained the power to invigorate his followers. Various side perks aside, Daikoku is straightforward to use for large range big damage at a low cost. The best villains are always the most directly effective ones, huh? If you find Valentine Kengo too risky to use, this fan favorite wolf god offers a safer, albeit weaker, alternative to solo carrying, with healing, damage mitt, death denial, buff denial, and extended movement. Q calmly subverts most damage as a nimble tank. His far reach also pairs well with his well owned strength, dealing a solid 12,000 damage per square. Both damage and defense packed in all his muscles, Q becomes the change he wanted to see, heroically facing threats in challenges and farming by himself. Body heated up from his battles, 
and this wolf is sure to keep you warm on the long, cold, lonely nights. And if there is any doubt, this three-year-old returning banner still holds up and is more than well deserving of your stones. Though most of the evolutions don't overhaul these creatures of paradise by much, the fact that almost everyone is still worth pulling goes to show that what they all bring to the table is evergreen and worth. Shame about Sato Tohiko not receiving a worthwhile long overdue glow up though. That's all for now cuties, catch you next time!